so fortunate. Um, I worked with Annie McCarthy, who's uh, the great casting director of this film, and she just had such a great time with the script that Lee wrote, and we just had a great time casting the film. And one of the things I said to her was, um, I really wanted you know, people that feel real, and that people that you can relate to, and um, you know, but at the same time, you know, like good-looking people, like Patrick and Rose Byrne. And so uh, they're easy on the eyes. So, um, so, so you know, so <laughs> it's a cold, cold reality. <laughs> Ugly people just can't play real. <laughs> no, but, but Lee, Lee and I have actually been big fans of Patrick for a while now. So, uh, and I've been a big fan of uh, Rose Byrne because you know um, I've known her work from Australia, you know, way back then. Um, Patrick's actually, actually in one of my favourite films, Little Children, and so is Ty. Ty played his son in Little Children. Exactly. Yeah. So. so when I when I was casting for the um, for Patrick's young son, uh, when Ty came up, I was like, you know what? That seemed like a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> that seemed like you know they got a good history together, and this film was shot so quickly. Uh, this film, believe it or not, was shot in like 22 days. Yes, and uh, and. Thank you. Um, and uh, I, I firstly, I want to I say thank you to all the the crew that works so tirelessly. And on the this producers film. who are here tonight. The, um, producers. the producers are the guys who did Paranormal Activity, Oren Pelly. Jason Blum. And Jason Blum. Unfortunately, yeah, J Jason Blum can't be here. Paranormal activity. Oh. But now, well, now that we've said that, everyone's just going to turn around and just start asking him questions. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, I would like to thank Stephen because uh, I believe it was around uh, New Year's. Stephen uh, was in Toronto, and uh, he called me up. And I think he came over to my my apartment on New Year's Day is like just to kind of catch up because we've known each other for a number of years. And he's like, I've got some really exciting news for you. We're working on a new film. It's called Insidious, and it's got James Wan, and it was just. It was, it was just like you planted the seed there, and I was like, at that point, I didn't think that it was even going to be ready in time because by this, like when you first hear a film, it takes so long to do. But you guys really did this quickly. And what, dude, you've seen my Facebook status update. I, I, I was racing against time. I was like losing my brain. Like literally, the last two weeks, I was racing against the clock trying to get it ready in time. And the more you try to get something ready in time, the more thing screws up. Like this would break down, that would break down, and it would always be technical things. And um, and uh, and it literally was. When did the film get here? Like yesterday? It was went on uh, on Sunday. It's still not here yet. On uh, Sunday, James <laughs> Gunn. Was... Astro projected that film you just seen. <laughs> uh, on Sunday, James Gunn turned to me and said. Have you seen his Facebook updates lately? He's still working on the film. It's Sunday. The movie plays on Tuesday. <laughs> but, okay, one of the things James that... Gunn's like, I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> but what does that show my film again? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a pitch gun, where are you? I'm gonna get that guy. Well, one of the things that I do like about the sorry, just you. <laughs> you you break some rules. One of the best things about this film is they move. <laughs> so that was one. Of, that was on the sheet that I was talking about. Like no false scares. It was like they should move if the house is haunted. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. Do we have any other questions here from the audience? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 But it helped me get into character. <laughs> Can I just elaborate on that a little bit? From a director's standpoint, I, I felt so bad for Ty. Ty is like the coolest kid I've ever met. And uh, and Joe is like the nicest guy you guys will ever meet as well. But when Joe get in that makeup, all black with the lipstick painted on his face and he's got the hooks on and the claws. And not only did it scare us, the grown-ups, we go, um, hey Ty, you gotta go stand next to that demon character in the dark. <laughs> Well, we all gonna be back here, um, and I, I just felt really bad for Ty. And um, <laughs> needless to say, um, years of years of fear are coming out. To you, You're psychologically scarred for the rest of his life. You're not scarred, are you? 
No. <laughs> All right, who's we got? Yes, I'm ready. Challenging part of filming the film, of shooting the film. Of um, filming the film, making something scary is damn hard. Just because. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, believe it or not, um, I, I, I want to correlate with Saw because, like, Saw was made, you know, kind of, kind of, in, in a very similar vein, you know, like, yeah, for, you know, very independent spirit, really fast paced. But the difference is, um, Saw went for a very greedy kinetic energy, and when you make a film in that world, you can really get away if your camera's a bit rough. Right, so you can use quick cuts to kind of hide the shots. With this, I really want it to be, you know, for the lack of a better term, more made in, in that pure cinema style of filmmaking, very John Carpenter-ish, you know, very, 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 what, what Friedkin did in, in The Exorcist. So, you know, all my shots, are, I try to keep my shots as controlled as I can. And, uh, and because of that, that's hard. And, you know, like, uh, it's actually harder to do slow moving shots than it is to move you know, your camera everywhere. Um, so, uh, so it was definitely a challenge, but uh, I think um, you know I think uh, my great DP um, John Leonetti and David Brewer pull it off for me. I have heard of Lorraine Warren in the research. That she's actually fascinating. Like she's worked on a lot of cases that I'm really interested in, like the Smurl haunting, which is uh, you can Wikipedia it. But they made a TV movie out of it in the in the 80s called The Haunted, which is actually one of the scarier things out there. In the 80s, they made all these weird uh, TV movies that were actually scary somehow, and uh, that was one of them. And and so I was influenced by her. I guess she was sort of an amalgam of. Of different people like that, but I didn't in, want to. In the writing, obviously. Yeah. But, um, but obviously, you know, Lynn Shay, you know, such a great actress, she just brought her own stuff to it. You know, I mean, most people know Lynn Shay from all the Ferrelli Brothers film, like something about Mary Magda from that, and, um, and so Kingpin and all these films, and so. I've seen, I've seen the sides of Lynn, um, knowing Lynn, uh, I've seen like the, the serious side, like the, the more sort of low-key side, and that was one of the things I wanted, I wanted her to bring um, a sense of quirkiness to who she is, but not go too over the top, and I think she found the right balance for this film. And, and how did you get uh, Barbara Hershey attracted to it? Well, ba Barbara, believe it or not, I mean, Barbara, firstly, thanks to Winnell here, Barbara, Barbara read the script and loved the script, and, uh, and Barbara is a, um, a very spiritual person. She actually, you know, she's really into all this sort of stuff. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not sure how much she believes it, right, but she's, she's really into the world, and, uh, and I guess, you know, the chance to um, work, you know, to, to work with, you know, the, the producers of Paranormal Activity and the filmmakers of Soul and, and, and the and great the cast. cast. And the good looking cast. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and plus, as well, she was in the entity. She was in the entity. And, and yes, I which mean, is which is based on a real life case where the yes. Warrens were involved. Okay. And, and that, that was like, you know, guilty. That was my reason for really wanting her. Besides me, she was a great. She's a great actress. I really love. It, the entity is one of my scariest films. So when, when, we, when she starts to kind of uh, give the history, like have the big reveal, and like, wait a minute. Is this the sequel? Is this like, is there going to be a time like I was possessed by a ghost and horrible things happened to me and Ben? Um, anyways, do we have any, uh, yes, right there. Uh, This guy's in the market for real estate. <laughs> he wants to know, yeah, what's, how do you find a great location like that? Uh, it's funny that you say that because Black Christmas is one of my favorite films as well. I love Black Christmas, the original, Bob Clark, um, which actually influenced me heavily uh, on um, for Saul, actually. Um, but um, but yeah, no, I think. Uh, if you're, if you're trying to at least start out letting people think you're making a movie about a haunted house film, you know, even if you kind of like detour and it becomes something else, I think the house is a very important character. And we were very conscious that um, when they move to a second house, that the second house needs to be uh, a complete contrast to the first one. So with the first house, we wanted something that was very Victorian, very classic, very amateur view, that when you look at it and go, oh my god, that's a haunted house. <laughs> oh, 